dot array for wheat association mapping wheat is probably the most important crop in the world and it is originated in the fertile crescent region wheat genetics is more complicated than that of many other domesticated species some wheat species are diploid with two sets of chromosome but many are stable polyploids with four sets of chromosomes hexaploid or tetraploid association mapping technique is excellent compared to qtl mapping as it offers better resolution and its ability to survey a large gene pool in less time diversity array technology undergoing a transition from serial based gel based assays to highly parallel hybridization based technologies association mapping in wheat has been tremendous potential and has been done for traits like kernel size milling quality in wheat kernel softness genes controlling resistance contents in diversity array technology dot array detects polymorphism complexity reduction library creation genotyping array hybridization output image genotype calling association mapping and its advantages dot array how it detects polymorphism first that we need to develop the array in gene pool a dot markers is a segment of dna or biallele and the presence of which is polymorphic in a defined genomic representation and dot is a hybridization based method capable of generating a medium density genome scan of any plant species and it also can types hundreds to thousands of snps the next step is the complexity reduction dot works by reducing the complexity of dna sample to obtain representations of that sample complexity reduction relies on a combination of restriction enzyme digestion and adapter ligation after doing this process the sample gets reduced into different fragments this is how the genomic representation can be generated constant fragments are found in this genomic representations constant fragments found in any representation from dna sample from an individual belonging to given species variable fragments called molecular markers only found in some but not all representation from genomic dna this is how the genomic representations next step is library creation library needs to be created which comprises of individuals within the library each colony contains one of the fragments from above mentioned genomic representation to create the library we need cloning vectors the next step is genotyping array at present high throughput capability of dot is based on micro array platform mainly the genotyping array is based on micro array platform the fragments within the library are amplified and spotted onto glass slides using a micro arrays to form a genotyping array it's very specific with mentioned colors the next step is hybridization the genotyping array hybridized with genomic representation of individual dna samples which is fluorescently labeled using complexity reduction method each individual representation will hybridize only the matching fragments on the genotyping array after all hybridizations 
with matching fragments thereby it will display unique hybridization pattern the next step is output image after hybridization the slides are then scanned using a scanner to detect pollution signal emitted from the hybridized fragment with different colors for the detection purpose the next step is genotype calling genotype calling is the data analysis step the data from scan images is extracted and analyzed using dot soft software and analysis of genotype calling can be done with different genotypes of polymorphic markers the next step is the association mapping the basic objective of association mapping is to detect the correlation between genotypes and phenotypes in a sample of individuals on the basis of linkage disequilibrium association mapping panels sample more genetic diversity and take advantages of many generations of recombination and it can be made into different lines that sampled from single population the linkage disequilibrium is the main principle behind association mapping genes can be found after that low trait values and marker in linkage equilibrium with gene of high trait values and this is how the simple lipid illustration of association mapping for identifying allelic variation influencing a phenotypic trait which is under scenario of either high or low linkage disequilibrium let's consider the example with low linkage disequilibrium in this scenario it typical result in small chromosomal region example few hundred base pairs flanking the markers be commonly shared among individuals that which is illustrated by line or color boxes and the next is our illustration is on scenario of high linkage disequilibrium in this scenario relatively large chromosomal regions example few hundred kilo ba base pairs surrounding each marker is common among individual it's illustrated by color. let's see the advantages with illustrations specific illustration depicts the importance of dot array technology in which let's see with this illustration dot markers in association mapping help to identify more stem rest resistant loci and be with high resolution than any other markers the markers highlighted in green are ssr caps and microsatellite markers were previously mapped for stem rest resistance in b the markers highlighted in red are high resolution dot markers that were identified for stem rest resistance by association mapping specifically they located on sr9 sr9 gene in 2b and sr2 in 3bs locus the next illustration in case of advantages of dot array technology it creates very important things in hexaploid v genome dot can be used for high throughput profiling of hexaploid v genome this picture shows the chromosome on a to 7a in genetic map for cross between wheat cultivars cranbrook and hardbred PCR based marker technology likes SSR or SNP 
may be affected by alternative primer binding sites on homologous chromosome. But dot markers behave in a Mendelian fashion and it can be scored as single locus markers despite nature of exoplite wheat. Dot markers are stronger tendency than SSR and ALP markers is particular to map gene-rich telomic regions in B. This is how it's very useful in exoplite wheat genome association mapping.